Hey, what's up, y'all? So we can go ahead and just <laughs> we can just go ahead and say I ain't gonna never get my black box. <laughs> I ain't gonna never get my black box. I ain't gonna never ever get my black box. <laughs> the people who know know what I'm talking about when we talk about the black box. So I don't know what's going on <laughs> down to Candy's speak on it. But girl, Candy, the people say that your slip is starting to show and the people are even down to the internet calling you vindictive. I don't watch Candy speak on it. I've tuned in when Don Juan used to be on all the time because I feel like Don Juan was a little messy. And he, you know, Don Juan is kind of entertaining. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I would tune in when Don Juan would be down to speak on it because I also felt like he kind of gave a little bit of tea. Um, and then a couple of times that Kenya was on, I didn't watch the last time. Um, but the time or two before that, maybe it was like one, one time, one or twice, one or two times, um, that Kenya has been on. And then I have watched speak on it probably once or twice with Kenya by herself. But for the most part, I don't watch speak on it like that at all. So the latest speak on it, Candy decided to bring Courtney as a guest now candy has said that she i guess is going to provide provide a space for people to come and speak on it you know girl she ain't providing no no space for phaedra but we're gonna leave it alone <laughs> this is what i have to say i did not watch it and i'm not going back to watch it because from what the people say Courtney was down to speak on it and was making light of, fun of, allegedly making fun of or light of, of Allison, which is Drew's sister's mental health issues. And I guess after the show aired, the speak on it aired because it was pre-recorded, I guess they started to receive some backlash and they snatched it down, went back and edited the video um and then came back with a new one some people are saying that that has nothing to do with candy and this is what we're going to have to agree to disagree it has everything to do with candy let me let y'all know something right now you know how i always get down here and say girl i am the captain of this ship if you have a youtube page you are the captain of your ship okay and even with Candy's candy girl candy is over there girl the captain of girl <laughs> girl <laughs> a cruise line so she got a big ship okay right we got a little boat <laughs> we got a little fishing boat <laughs> you know candy got candy got an old nasty an old nasty girl seven day cruise uh uh boat over there cruise ship Candy is not responsible for what comes out of someone's mouth. If this was live, I would say, oh my God. But the simple fact that this was pre recorded and Candy and company decided to put this up, maybe that falls on Candy. It does. It does. Candy can't control what Courtney says or whatever guest stops by. She can't control what they say, but she sure can't control what she decides to put up on the YouTube. If people say your slip is showing Candy. We're not going to sit here and act like Candy wasn't already questioning whether or not Allison was being truthful with her mental health in the first place. Remember she said that down to the after show? She said it on the after show that she didn't know whether or not Drew and the sister, I guess, was playing games. That's why she had that look on her face when Allison was speaking. See, this is the thing. If Candy don't care, then Candy don't care. Girl, stand in it. If Candy doesn't think that Allison's mental health issues are that big of a deal and she thinks she's putting 20 on 10, then girl, stand in it. And this is why I be telling y'all, girl, some of y'all think I don't like Candy because I because I call out Candy when I think Candy is wrong. Y'all have a weird relationship with a weird relationship dynamic when it comes to people. 
If you like somebody, if you like somebody, how dare you call them out when you think they're wrong? Because I think they're wrong. I have told y'all that I felt like Candy made speak on it so she could come down and can and, and control the narrative. Y'all want to believe that Candy has created this space for people to come down here and be able to say whatever they want to say. And then when the people don't come, the first thing y'all scream is, well, Candy said that she advised everybody, girl, ain't nobody about to put more candy and uh, no more money in Candy's pocket. Y'all want Portia to go down there to, to speak on it just so, girl, the, the ratings can be, girl, off the YouTube scale. <laughs> girl, Candy pocket all the money. Girl, no. <laughs> no. I think Candy... Is as not is 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 not as innocent as some people think that she is. I think Candy, girl, I think her slip is starting the show too. I think so. It's no different than when the whole stuff happened in Portugal. Y'all know I was Team Candy. I didn't care about her response to Drew. Because that was her response. That's what I, that's why when I, when I mean stand in it, girl, just stand in it. <laughs> right? But because Candy caught the backlash from the viewers and they said that she was being insensitive to Drew, then she has to come back and explain to us why she did what she did. Well, because Eric stepped in and said X, Y, Z. Girl, just take it on the chin, girl. Just say, so you know what? I was being insensitive, but at the time I felt like Drew was putting 20 on 10 because I didn't think that she was cutting up the way she was cutting up over $1,000. That's you standing in it. That's you standing in it and also not throwing the show under the bus. Here you go with Courtney because Courtney got down to your channel and said some things that people deemed as insensitive. And now you gotta snatch your chat, you gotta snatch your video from the YouTube to go back to re-edit it and then bring and put it back up. The people then I said the people that already said they saw what was said. And again, that's not Candy's fault because she can't control what Courtney say. Where the fault falls into Candy's lap is because, girl, you already knew what she said. You still put the video up anyways. That's where the fault starts to fall into Candy's lap. You can't be responsible for what somebody else say, right? But how you respond to what somebody says, like I said, girl, I didn't watch. All of this is is alleged, but girl, that's what the people say. That's what the people say. That's what the people say. Now I want to get off into Miss Courtney, Miss Drew, and Wreck It Ralph. So some of y'all have been saying that y'all thought that Ralph and Courtney had messed around. And, you know, I'm not the type to just, just because y'all throw stuff out there or if I, and then when I say y'all, I'm talking about just, I'm talking about people on Twitter, people on Instagram, just people, period. Not necessarily y'all. But I'm not the type to just because people say something, girl, I just run with it. Because if it don't make sense to me, it just don't make sense. How and ever I have come to the conclusion that Ralph and Courtney are kissing cousins. I think Ralph and Courtney have had some type of relationship in the past. I don't think they're cousins. I didn't want to believe people when they started saying, I was like, girl, who would bring somebody onto a show and start talking about their cousins and they're not? I don't think they're cousins. I have been listening to people, right? I have been looking at the comments, whether it was on Twitter, my videos, other folks' videos, uh instagram first thing is this 
And I think the diva said this. Shout out to the diva. Girl, you ain't figured out y'all was cousins that fast at Ross at Ross's birthday party. Okay, that's one. Y'all just upped and figured out y'all was cousins. Just at a party, just randomly bumped into somebody. Oh no, we cousins. <laughs> okay. Two. When Ralph and Courtney hugged each other at their at Ralph and Drew's home, when remember when Courtney and Bryce came over, the way that Courtney hugged Ralph, sweetie, that was not no cousin hug. That was girl. Let me feel on my man. Let me feel on my man muscles hug. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, this is what has, girl, put, put the nail in the coffin for me. Shout out to one of the cousins. I want to read what she wrote, or he wrote, they wrote. So, Miriam Jones, shout out to you for paying attention. Episode three, Courtney and Bryce came to Drew's and Ralph's home for brunch. Drew said to Courtney, I know Ralph told me that y'all had a little situation, but I'm like, Courtney cuts off Drew, but I'm over it. I haven't thought about it since. Nothing is going on, I promise. I'm curious about what and why Courtney meant by telling Drew nothing is going on, I promise. So I said, girl, what are you talking about? <laughs> I responded, hold on, hold on. I need to go back and watch. So I said, let me go back to episode three. <laughs> let me go back to when Drew and uh, when, when Bryce and Courtney went to Drew's house. I said, let me rewatch this scene. I want to play the audio for y'all so y'all can hear. It's 12 seconds. So listen, okay? I want to play the audio so y'all can hear. The conversation that took place between Courtney and Drew. Y'all ready? Hold up. I know Ralph told me about y'all having a little situation, yeah. but I'm like, yeah, it was, it was a little situation, but I'm over it. Like, I haven't thought about it since. It's Nothing like, is going on, I promise okay. you. What? Okay. I'm going to play it again. So listen, okay? Listen to this is Drew, and I don't want to play the video because it's over. It's over seven seconds, and you know, Bravo don't play that. One time, I had a whole video set. Girl, I said, I still remember this. I had a whole video set. This was for Real Housewives of Potomac. By the time I had clips and everything in my video, girl, by the time the video even uploaded, girl, bro, they had snatched my whole video down. They they took the video down. They didn't send me no email that said, girl, your video gonna be de demonetized. They ain't say, girl, this ain't no, sh they, they took, they literally took my video down from my page. I had, I hadn't even made the, I had not even made the video public or anything. It was still private. It had just finished uploading and right when it uploaded, they snatched it down. Then they sent me an email and said, girl, blah, 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 blah. I said, oh my God. <laughs> so listen to, listen to this conversation again between Courtney and Drew. I know Ralph told me about y'all having a little situation, but I'm like, yeah, it was, it was a little situation, but I'm over it. Like, I haven't thought about it since. It's Nothing like, is going on. I promise okay. you. What? Okay. Y'all heard it. Now, I don't know what that means. But why would Drew tell Courtney, yeah, Ralph told me about y'all little situation. Oh, I promise ain't nothing. That's, oh, that ain't nothing going Girl, what? Ralph and Courtney, this is what I think. Okay, this is not factual. This is not, girl, I ain't got, I, I think that Ralph and Courtney used to fuck. And I think that Ralph has brought Courtney onto this show somehow via, via Sheree. I don't know. But it's weird to me that, 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 that Sheree brought Courtney onto the show as a friend of 30 years. And girl, we don't really, really even see Courtney and Sheree interact like that. 
And now you got Courtney, you got you got Courtney coming into the house, girl hugging Ralph all weird to me. Then you have this conversation between Courtney and Drew, which also leads me to which also brings me to the to my next point. Drew, this is why people be thinking y'all acting. And we never know when to feel sorry for Drew or to just roll our eyes and say, girl, shut up. Because what do you mean by what you just said? Let's play it again. I know, I know Ralph told me about y'all having a little situation, but I'm like, yeah, it was, it was a little situation. So I'm over it. Like, I haven't thought about it since. Nothing like, is going on. I promise okay. you. What? Okay. What does that mean? Because, girl, you've been calling her cousin, too. You've been calling her cousin, too. What What is going on? <laughs> and this is when pe this this is the part where people start to get frustrated with Drew and they don't want Drew on their TV screen because they feel like Drew is acting. Because one minute, girl, she your cousin, then the next minute in the kitchen, it sounds like your cousin was fucking your man once upon a time. What y'all think going on down there in Atlanta? It's a lot. Y'all think Courtney and Ralph had a little situation ship? And then when you think about this last episode where Courtney was in Allison's face, not in Allison's face, when Courtney and Allison were having a conversation and Courtney was like, having you called her a bitch before? Like, girl, you clearly got that information from Ralph. So Ralph is feeding you information to go against Allison. Girl! All right, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Again, girl, this is all alleged. Ain't nothing what I said factual. I'm just telling y'all what I think. And this is the conclusion that I have come to that Ralph and, and Courtney, girl, they used to smash. And I think Drew knew about it. So and she slipped up and said, and th this conversation is weird to me. And I'm so mad that I didn't catch this. Shout out to cousin. Because girl, clearly you were paying attention. Maybe I was, I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I was making me a cocktail. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.